Opening a Chinese restaurant may seem prosaic and food-savvy Hong Kong, but the fact that a pair of expatriates opened one in the city has raised more than a few eyebrows. Just to be a bit cheeky, doing a Chinese restaurant in China is a pretty... Um, it, yeah, it was something people, people would laugh about, but it's something that we felt we, we people could do. Said, it. People said that these guys have no business doing a Chinese restaurant in Hong Kong. What do they understand about Chinese food? Canadian Christopher Mark and Hong Kong native Syed Asim Hussein are behind the Cantonese restaurant cheekily named Holy Fook, which in Cantonese means good fortune for your mouth. Helmed by Taiwanese chef Joette Yu, this funky Chinese restaurant concept is the latest from Black Sheep Restaurants, a venture set up by the business partners in 2012. In less than three years, the company has launched eight restaurants in some of Hong Kong's trendiest districts. And Hong Kong, they say, helped make that possible. It's a fun city, but it's also a city for serious entrepreneurs. I grew up in Hong Kong and I grew up around restaurants. I went to university in the US, but I always knew that I had to come back home to Hong Kong. And I also always knew that I was going to be an entrepreneur. Asim worked with Christopher, a Toronto native, who came to Hong Kong over 10 years ago to work as a culinary director for a local restaurant group. What got us together was actually just the desire to bring good Neapolitan pizza to Hong Kong. I had a re relationship with the chef uh, Matthew Palombino before, when I, was, uh, when I was living and working in New York. And we liked what he'd done with Neapolitan pizza. He'd done something different than what, what the uh, Pizziolos in Naples had done. So that's what we wanted to do in Hong Kong. The partners introduced New York Pizzeria Motorinos to Hong Kong in March 2013. But first, it launched another New York brand, Spanish Tapas Bar Boqueria, followed by New York-style Italian restaurant Carbone. Having a local partner on the ground that you sort of have genuine trust in helped. And we have that with all our partners. But Black Sheep has earned the greatest praise for their homegrown concepts, like the French bistro Chom Chom. We knew that it was a place that had to serve beer. Uh, because that was already organically what, what, what was happening there. Everyone's on the street and it's very, it's very social, it's unpretentious, it's very down to earth, uh, it's reasonably priced, and the food is very satisfying. It's very easy to sort of fall in love with an idea or a concept on, on a piece of paper, but is that idea or concept right for the real estate? We spent a lot of time just looking at the people and, and trying to understand how we, we fit the needs of the neighborhood. The partners are now working on their ninth concept and want to eventually branch out into the hospitality business. I think Hong Kong has a fair amount in common with New York or London or Paris, just in terms of you have a small space with a lot of density. And that actually creates an advantage. You know, I don't think we'd be able to have this many restaurants so close to each other. Um, and it allows us to physically go everywhere, be everywhere, respond to problems quickly. I think if we were in another market, we'd be driving around all day. Sort of on a more macro level, Hong Kong also is a great place to be an entrepreneur in terms of rules and regulations and licenses and systems. People of Hong Kong have a very can-do attitude. When, when we do business with people from out of town, they can't believe how things get done here or how quickly and how efficiently. And I think it all comes down to how business-friendly the city is. The city wants you to succeed. And while the business partners are for now focused on growing their company locally, they won't rule out exporting some of their homegrown concepts overseas, especially with feedback such as this recent one from within the industry. We had a chef at the restaurant last night. The chef said to us outside HLF, he said that he has not been inspired by food for the last 10 years, but he felt inspired last night after eating at HLF. So I'll, I'll take that. That's a feather in my cap.